Eat an arrow, buddy. Eat an arrow. It's good for you. Lots of iron in these iron arrows. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the insane Nightmare Speed tutorial series slash Let's Play. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is Horde Night 7. Um, so I'm just out hitting a couple more cars waiting for the Horde Night to begin. Uh, and it's about ready to begin. So let's get up in our little perch here and get ready to go. Uh, I'm not sure how things are going to turn out tonight. I think we'll be okay. Um, the thing that makes me a little concerned about it is just the fact that the silo here is pretty weak sauce you know uh in terms of it, it's just 300 hit point blocks but um you know as long as the zombies follow the pathing which they should i think we'll be okay now uh, but you know time will tell right time will tell okay so let's put that down there in fact i'm gonna put the wrench in here and we can put the extra gasoline in here and i think we're ready to go so we've got uh, painkillers we got uh, some first aid bandages i've got a hammer for repairs we've got cobblestone Forged iron, uh, which we need to repair the doorway. Uh, some pipes to repair the blunder buses. Two repair kits to repair the guns. And yeah, I think we're good. Let's get on up there and see how things go tonight. Horde night seven. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna mostly use our sledgehammer and our and our bow uh, to kill tonight uh, and save you know the guns for more emergency types of situations. Uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, episode 11, I think it was, um, we spent that episode, you know, setting this thing up. Um, so if you didn't catch that, basically I've created a pathway for the Zombos to get all the way up here. And um, it sounds like they're they're using it, which is good news. Yep, there they are. All right. You are the first contestant on Smashing Zombies Head at Night. Kind of like The Price is Right, only it's smashing zombies' heads at night. I know, that was bad. I'll stop. And that uh, that one zombie that you just saw there uh, was it fell through the hole, uh, which is also going to help us because it's going to um, it's going to slow them down even further. Some of them look like they might be getting caught up a little bit on the walkway there, but I'm not really too worried about that. Anything to kind of slow them down a little bit, but, you know, still keep them coming for us. And then, you know, if I feel like we're going to get overrun, we just pull the door out and see us suckers uh, just like that. So, yeah. So far, so good. Okay, get on over here. Don't be hitting the side of that. Big mom. <laughs> Big mama just fell through the hole. Skater Punks has a little bit of a hard time getting through there, um, but he got pushed through by another zombie when another zombie came through. See, they're falling, they're jumping over the rail and falling through the hole. That actually works out pretty good. All right, what we should probably do is use our bow on the guys that get stuck, and uh, you know until they get pushed through by their buddies, and then we use the sledgehammer on them. Headshots are a little bit challenging just because his head's weaving back and forth uh, so I don't know it might be worth doing just center of mass I guess there we go he got pushed through and we got a level too nice you know what I think we're gonna do with that level is we're gonna go right into here and we're gonna put that into sexual Tyrannosaurus because we really actually need some stamina help here next point we'll probably go into pistols uh, since we are using our pistol too on occasion, I don't know if Fun Pimps will do something about using the quarter bars uh, in Alpha 20. I mean, you know that this this trick has worked for several alphas, and it's um, you know, it, it's really the best or, or one of the best ways to deal with the horde and still be able to kill them in the early game that I've ever you know that I've come across. But at the same time, you know, it's uh, it's just kind of a, an old method. It's tried and true, but it's kind of an old method, and it'd be interesting to have, uh, you know, be forced to try something different and have this not work anymore. But 
I'm not sure what you would do. I mean, I have the zombies maybe be able to crouch down and go underneath it or jump over the top of it in a crouch stance. You know, kind of like the spider zombie can. Uh, that might be a, a possible solution to it. I, I haven't heard one way or the other if, if they are doing anything about it, but I'm just kind of speculating right now, you know. Yeah, that one point in sexy T is actually making a difference. We can we can go for a lot longer here. Off with your head. Okay, let's check uh, this. And we need to repair this guy. We also have the ergonomic grip mod, which helps with stamina too. They might, uh, before the night's over, break some of the blocks by the door, but that shouldn't cause any trouble for us. Hey, we got a bag. Let's see what's in there. Oh, nice. We got some more ammo, some food, a little bit of cash. I'll take that. Okay, let's just touch up here. Everything's in pretty good shape overall. We could probably try some power attacks since we have uh, a point and sexy T now. Because um, he, he just took her head right off of the one power attack. It's a beautiful thing. Goodbye, Marlene. <laughs> Fell through the hole. I've never actually used this silo before, ever, so I'm actually pretty pleased with how well it's turning out so far. Seems to be working good. Give me my arrows back, dude. We'll use the bow when we our stamina gets low. off with your head. Yeah, we might not have to use the guns at all tonight, which is great, because then we just save the ammo for when we're out, out and about doing POIs and stuff, where it's going to become more critical. Okay, let's repair this while we're waiting. And, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for our stamina to replenish there. Our food, we could stand to eat. Let's go ahead and eat this. And our hydration, sure, why not? Okay. Come on, guys. Are they down below hitting stuff down there? They're they're banging on something, but as long as they, for the most part, keep pathing up here, we should be fine. Um, it's the silo I'm, I would be the most concerned about because they, if they wanted to, they could take it down pretty quickly. Yeah, so anyway, make it so the Zombos can, like, either crawl underneath the quarter blocks or over the top of them. And then, you know, then we have to come up with a, a new a new way of dealing with it. Because this little trick has worked, shit, ever since, like, Alpha 16 or probably even be before that. See, now he might glitch through. Nope, he didn't. Okay. That's the main reason why I put the double bars in. Well, let's touch this up. We're doing pretty good, though, otherwise. Out of stamina. Eat an arrow, buddy. Eat an arrow. It's good for you. Lots of iron in these iron arrows. Here comes Edgar. There goes Edgar. <laughs> Here comes Edgar. He made it. 
Um, have we already killed the horde? I mean, it's not even 1 a.m. yet. Seriously? Have we killed the horde already? I think we've killed the horde, you guys. I hear somebody. Yeah, it sounds like someone's coming over. Yeah, this is a nice little setup, man, especially with that light right there. Someone's crossing over. Who is this? Skater punk? Oh, janitor. Hi, hey, buddy. He just fell down. Let's just go get him. No more zombos, huh? Wow. Okay. That was almost a little too easy. I gotta, I gotta say. That was almost a little too damn easy. Um. Okay. Well, uh, while we're here, let's let's go ahead and steal the fat loots. So I think we're done with the horde for tonight. We'll just take the fat loots out of here. Man, we killed these guys by one o'clock in the morning. It's amazing. I guess it's. I mean, it was horde seven, so that's not super surprising. Okay, we're gonna have some more sleepy ruskies in here probably. Let's put that there. What I want to do is... Bust this out here. Okay, now let's go ahead and can I put a torch there so I can see? We'll get those guys to fall down. Very good. They should not be able to get back up here. Let's grab our wood frames here. we lost anything super important. This is the big chest here. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we'll take all that. Let's check the ammo pile. A bandolier. Fantastic. I love that mod. Okay, we're going to put that on our chest piece. Very nice find. Okay, let's look in the utility cart here. Take that stuff. And we'll check our two crates here. We'll take that. We'll scrap this. And a food crate. Take those, those, and I don't care about the shaman. Okay, so there's other resources in here, but that's it for the loot skis. Uh, you know what, though? We might as well grab these this cobble and cement. There's no reason not to, except for the fact that I left my shovel in my my mini bike. Yeah, good job there, old guy. Well, I might come back later, or I might not. We'll see. Let's grab our torch. Come back around through here. Here, we might need to jump this one. Here we go. Pick those guys up. 
Uh, we should be able to get up there or not. Or not. We sprained our leg, but at least we didn't break it. We got uh, Cowboy Bob there. Oh! Time to go. We got our, ourselves on an, abra uh, an abrasion for our trouble. Oh, and now we do have a bona fide broken leg. Yeah, yes. Okay, well, anyway. Um, that was like a massively, overly successful Horde Night. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be over by 1 a.m., but, you know. We got it done. We got the job done. And uh, that was actually a very effective design. One thing I would do if I was going to continue using that design is I would upgrade the silo. At, you know, at least the first two or three blocks up on the silo, I, I'd upgrade them, you know, to something stronger than just 300 hit point uh, stuff, right? But otherwise, I mean, shoot, that was super effective. So, yeah. Let's put this gas in here. Uh, I did a bunch of car wrenching even before I started the episode. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to come back and grab that stuff later. All right, guys, we're back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, uh, so we basically just uh, went back uh, into the base, did some inventory management, hung out until morning. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go do this other uh, fetch quest that we have here since we still have quite a bit of time left in this episode. Again, wasn't expecting the Horde night to go by so fast, man. That was just like, like you said, you know, uh, almost too successful. Uh, but I, I hadn't planned it that way. I mean, it, I didn't know it was going to actually work that well. But on the other hand, you know, not complaining either. It, uh, it went quite well. So let's go uh, ahead and do this uh, fetch quest to finish out this episode and then we'll kind of see where we're at with the series after that okay here we are i've i'm sure i've done this place before but i don't remember it so um we're not going to try and double loot it since i'm not sure exactly where to go and what to do let's get this guy taken care of I'm right here, dummy. Ouch. Don't be hitting me, man. You're going to increase my abrasion time. So, let's see. We got another Zombo somewhere banging on something. Yeah, let's just do this, because uh, here again, I'm, I'm not sure exactly where to go, what to do, that sort of thing. Those are not lootable. This could be a an interesting place to have an early game horde base, because it's already got the, the walls set up. What are these? Yeah, 2,500 walls. You can... Just upgrade them to reinforced. Hmm. I have to keep the keep this place in mind for potential future episodes. Okay, let's go into here. We've got a cardboard box with some stuff in it there. Just do some quick looting. Always welcome to take ducks to take. We've got a wolf somewhere. Be careful about that. Where is that wolf? Oh, he's on the other side of our wall here. You just a normal wolf? Okay. Let's get some, uh, some meat and hide from this guy. And bones and fat.
we have a horde coming through? Seems like a lot of zombos. Alright, I think we're alright. Let's put a couple things in here. Don't care about that. Creepy crawly. Holy crap, if I can actually hit the guy in the head. Yay. Might as well get a chicken too. It's what's for dinner. Okay, game, can we go ahead and start our quest now, please? No more interruptions. a little suspicious. It's probably a zombie right behind there. Yep, I figured that was the case. Are you dead? Now he is. Uh, we probably better heal up a little bit here. Take a red a tea to help counter that. I'm not worried about jars right now. Okay, nothing else behind here. Uh, I'll worry about the cobble and cement later if I even bother with it at all. Okay, we got businessmen. Oh, we got a couple zombos. Attentions. Okay, we got a skill point. Is there another zombo coming? Okay, what we're going to do is quickly go into here. Uh, we're going to go to agility and we're going to take a point in gunslinger. Our pistol is a little more effective. You going to come down? No? Okay. Oh, now you are. Okay, that takes care of them. Okay, we got a bookcase over there. We got something secret in here. A little water action. That goes up into that steeple area. 
Nurse Nancy. How dare you scare us like that. Just for that, you lose your head. Okay, let's go in here. Get the bookcases. Iron knuckles and learn how to craft steel arrows and boats. Bolts. Very nice. Certainly would come in handy later on if we were going to continue this series. I bet you there's something up here. Or not. What about up here? Let's grab the food. Check the sink for wrenches. There we go. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Okay. That goes into a room. That goes into a bathroom. Which then goes into that other room. Nice. Look at that. Big medikit. We'll take it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's eat this. None of that stuff's super critical right now. All right, let's go back through here. Possibly Zombo in this closet here. Both of these guys loaded? Yeah. There's a weapons bag there. Whew, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. There's three of them. Okay. We got the tension of what sounds like a lot of zombies outside. Uh, I don't think they can come up through here, but let's block that. Is she on this door here? I think so. Sounds like most of them guys are just um, on the fence outside trying to break through the fence. We do have one here though. So let's put this down. And in case the other ones come around, I better upgrade this too. Okay, come on, darling. Well, it sounds like there's a few zombies trying to break down the fence out there, but let's not worry about them right now. Let's just keep moving. Um, okay, so we were trying to get into this room. And I think we managed to clear it. A little secret action here with a box. Interesting. That's pretty well hidden. Hidden stash. Nice. 4X scope mod. Uh, let's put that on... Yeah, let's put it on here. That way we can do some 
longer range action because we can still use this to shoot from the hip too. Cool. Okay, this is the fat loots. Nice, nice. Ooh, look at that magnum schematic. And machete. That's some pretty good stuff. Okay, we don't care about this. Um, we don't care about this. And we don't really care about those easily enough made later if we get a crossbow at some point. Okay, we got a thing for our blade. Another blunderbuss fortifying grip mod. Okay, cool. Um, let's put this on here. Actually, no. You know what? We can put that on our axe. That'll be better use of our... Thing, our time fortifying grip mod. Let's put that on, I guess, our our pick for now. Um, I'm going to actually get rid of that stone shovel, too. He uses less stamina, but we're at the point where we can't... We need space more than anything else. So scrap that stuff, too. Actually, no, just toss that stuff. One piece of paper we don't need. I'm not worried about the stone. Oh, okay. So we still have to get our package, which is right here. Okay, so quest is done. I want to go see what's up in the that little kind of steeple area, too, just out of curiosity. Let's just straight up eat that right now. In fact, let's straight up eat this right now, too. And let's straight up drink this right now. Chuck that stuff, free up some slots. Okay, let's just take a look-see and see what's up here. There's a backpack. With some agua. And a route to the roof. goes in an attic area. This is, oh yeah, this is where that uh, Nurse Nancy dropped down on our head. Well, this shoddy messiah crate. Look at that. What more could you ask for? Look at all those parts, man. I'll take them. I'll take them. We even got some shotgun parts there, too. So you know what that means? We could make ourselves a double barrel shotgun and just and do away with the blunders. Uh, I mean, I know we have three now, but there, it's just taking up too much space is the thing. Okay. All right. I think we're done here. So let's go back uh, to the trader turn in and then wrap up the episode. All right, let's see what Huey Can't has. You be any louder. You I don't care what folks say about you in the wasteland. Uh, remove 20% more arrows, bolts from your target, or 44. You know, we learned the 44. We have some 44 back at the base, so I think I'm going to take that. Um, and then let's take a look at your inventory. We're going to sell this and this and this and this. I'm not going to bother fixing that stuff up. He restocks on day 10. Good luck with that. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I think it is now time uh, to go ahead and end the series because we are pretty much at the point now. Uh, you know, we've got, we're, we have a full set of heavy armor, uh, scrap armor, but still heavy armor. Uh, we never <laughs> we never did change our pants to something better than the grass pants. That's funny. Uh, we have a full set of heavy armor. We've got a really, you know, pretty powerful attack rifle here, level three. Uh, modded we've got a pistol we have one point in each one of those um, you know we're doing good also with the sledgehammer and i think we're at the point now where we can pretty much survive and hold our own uh, particularly against you know one zombie at a time um, we're no longer in a situation where we have to creep around and be um, you know be ultra careful like we were at the in the beginning of the game here uh, so let me just get my toolbar resituated here. We'll put that down there. 
So yeah, we're just uh, pretty much at that point where you know we can go ahead and play the game um, in normal. I mean, we're still gonna have to, you know, still would have to be careful. Uh, we can't take on a whole bunch of zombies all at the same time effectively at this point. But you know, onesie twosies not a problem. Uh, any you know any POIs and stuff that we do, it, you know, again if it's one zombie, you know, try and do a, a stealth kill. If it's um. Uh, if it's multiple zombies, it's still at this point would be prudent probably to, you know, try and pin them in with choke points like we've been doing. But as time goes on, we're going to get stronger and stronger. And then pretty soon it's just not going to matter uh, a whole lot more than it would with a normal playthrough. The one thing about the end game, though, on these settings, you know, keep in mind that um, Probably the most dangerous thing is the wandering hordes because they could still and remember on these settings they're not wandering hordes they're running hordes and you know so the game could spring those on you at, at any point in time and you know they can be deadly to you even in the end game if you get enough of them because in the end game you're gonna you know you're gonna start getting irradiated and you know the really nasty stuff so uh, and and the cool thing about that is it keeps you on your toes it means that you still can't walk around um, like God, even in the end game and nothing can touch you, uh, you're still, you know, you're still vulnerable. Plus the, you know, the horde knights get really nasty too, of course. Uh, and you get some, the real high end zombies and they're all insane difficulty tough, you know? So, but I think, you know, I, I'm feeling pretty good about where we're leaving off the series here in terms of, you know, getting all of you guys, you know, from the tutorial standpoint, anyways, getting all you guys to the point where from here on out, you know, you can play the game and, and do what you need to do and survive. So, uh, I think we're going to wrap up this series. I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this series and uh, these episodes. And what's up next, guys, is Ravenhurst. And not just Ravenhurst, but we're going to try Ravenhurst on Insane Nightmare difficulty. And boy, oh boy, is it going to be a challenge. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I have done a little bit of offline play testing just to see if it's even feasible at all. And I, I, I kind of have, uh, I've come up with a strategy that might, and I do say might, <laughs> that might help us to actually pull it off. Uh, I just don't know for sure. Uh, so we're going to give it a try anyways, and we're going to see how things go. And, um, you know, God help us, right? <laughs> if you guys didn't know, you know, the thing about Ravenhurst that makes it different from any other of the overhauls that we played in vanilla itself is, I mean, there's a lot of things about it that are different that makes it unique, but the most, one of the most significant things um, that's going to affect us is the quantity of zombies that that mod spawns in on top of you, man. It's just nuts. Uh, you know, it's like three, four times more zombies than, than vanilla. So, you know, if you think about that, right, if you're playing on insane difficulty um, and you're playing on nightmare speed, you know, where the zombies are all on nightmare speed all the time, it's one thing if you have, you know, one, even even two zombies coming after you in the very early game, you know, we you can deal with those. You can use the cheese tower or you can go up the side of a building. You can block them in a doorway if it's in a house, that sort of thing, and, and deal with them. But, you know, what if it's 15 zombies coming at you at nightmare speed all on insane in the early game? You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's going to be... Oh my goodness, it's going to be tough, but I have a plan. I don't know if the plan's going to work, but we're going to try it and we're going to see how things go. But anyways, that is it guys for this series, this tutorial series and let's play series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really appreciate everybody watching and hanging out and leaving comments and uh, anybody new to the channel that subscribed as a result of this series. And I hope you guys, you know, at some point in your seven days to die career, really consider um, you know, trying the game on these settings because it's it's a different experience and, you know, it's very hard in the beginning, but it's also, you know, the reason you do it is because it's more rewarding, okay? It is. You you have to really fight hard in the beginning, uh, but you, you get to that point, you know, where you finally feel like you can sort of stand on your own, you know, so to speak, but you're never really completely safe, you know, because again, even in the end game, you can get rushed by uh, a, a running horde that just comes out of nowhere and they can just wreck you. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It, it keeps things exciting. And I just, I just really enjoy playing the game on these settings for those reasons. Okay, guys, we will see you in Ravenhurst. Take care and we'll see you in Ravenhurst. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.